Okay, let's continue on sculpting the head. And one thing that I, I wanna do is I wanna elongate the back of the head. Looking at this from the side, I wanna actually uh, get a little bit more of kind of a regal look to this guy. And so I wanna elongate the back of the head and I also wanna move the head back a little bit. You can see it's kind of hunched forward. And so I wanna give the, the sense that it's a little bit more uh, dignified or regal. It's an alien, so who knows if that's gonna be the posture, but uh, for me to get that effect, I think I wanna move the head up a little bit. And so one thing we can do here in Dynamesh is we can mask off parts and move those around and then remesh. So if we hold down our control key, you can see right now we're set to mask rectangle, but I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna select the mask lasso. And so now when I hold down control, I can come in here and I can just mask off the head up to kind of midpoint on the neck. We can also control click on the mesh to soften the mask. And right now our mask is inverted. And so what we want to do is be able to move the head. And so we want that area to be unmasked. And so what we can do is hold down control and just click on the canvas and that'll invert the mask. Okay, so now we can go to our move gizmo. And right now the gizmo is set down here. And so I'm gonna unlock it. And then I'm gonna hit this little go to unmasked mesh center. And that's gonna pop it right up in the center of our head because that's the unmasked area. Then we can lock it back down again. And now I can come in here and play with the scale or position. And so I'm gonna kind of lift it up, pull it back just a little bit. Okay, I think I also wanna scale it down just a bit. Just kind of looking overall, it seems a little bit large. So I think something more like that. And again, I'm gonna move it back just a little. Now you can see where the masking, the kind of blend between that. And so we will definitely have to fix some of those uh, areas. All right, so now we can unmask and we can remesh. We can also come in with our move brush and start to kind of better align the neck with the new kind of position of the face and also the way the traps in the back kind of come into the head. I also, as I said, want to make this head a more elongated. And so I'm really going to get kind of a pretty big draw size and sort of just pull this out. Okay, so I want to leave kind of the front where it is, but I want to create a little bit more bulk back here and kind of have this sort of raised up in the back. Kind of pull it over here so it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more volume back there. Maybe kind of round it off. And like I said, yours doesn't have to be, you know, exactly like mine. Uh, I do want this kind of ridge to come back and hit the hit a little bit further back on the head. I'm gonna open up the eye socket there a little bit. I also want to make sure that the eyes. They are on the side of the head, but I do want to give them a little bit more of a front facing kind of predatory uh, look. It'll make it look a little bit more intelligent versus having the eyes pointing off to the side. We are gonna see a lot of the eyeball, but I still want them to be kind of uh, focused on the front there. Okay, we can always control drag to remesh when we get to that point. We can, you can see some of these areas in here are all kind of messed up. So we can go get our clay build up, come back in here. Let's use all to kind of knock this down a little bit. In here, and kind of add a little bit of detail into the neck. And kind of add some around the jaw. I also wanted to play around with the jaw itself looking at it from the side, I want to, I want this chin to kind of come down in a little bit of a different angle. And so let's get kind of a bigger draw size here. And I'm just going to pull this down. I still want the area where the sort of the tooth is going to come out, but I, where it comes down here, I want this to be curved back a little bit more backwards. And then I want the jaw, back part of the jaw, just thinking about kind of the, the curves 
the interplay of shapes here. I want this to be a little bit more of a, a curved shape. We'll have a tooth kind of right up in here. Let's open up this eye shape a little bit more. And now, like I said, eventually you're going to want to put an actual piece of geometry in there for the eye, because otherwise you're not going to know, you know, where to place all of your other details. I think that looks a bit better as far as the head goes. We may want to rotate it down or actually lift up this center area a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. So I'm going to soften that mask. Let's go ahead and flip it. And I'm just going to go to rotate. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to move the rotation point kind of back here. Lock it back and I'm just going to move it just a little. So something like that. Go back to draw, unmask, remesh. And again, you can see the line right there. You just have to go back in and just kind of clean it up a little. Smooth would probably do it all by itself, which it does. You can come in here and add some detail to kind of blend it down into the neck there. Okay, so. The first thing I want to do, this is the eye socket. And so I want to have the actual eyelids as well. And so we need some geometry for that. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and insert a mesh. And so all of these IMM brushes, those are insert multi-mesh brushes. And they're going to have different objects that you can insert. Now we really just need uh, primitives. And so you can see there are a couple of these. I'm just going to do IMM primitives. And now we can choose the primitive that we want to insert. And I just want to insert a sphere and I do have symmetry still on. So I'm going to insert it right in the center of this socket. Now it may not be inserted at the right point. There are several ways we can do this. We could actually move it afterwards or we can come into the brush and we can actually go into the depth and you see this, this is saying that when we draw it out, the edge of that sphere is going to be on the, the surface. Think of this line as the surface of our model and I want it to be embedded a bit. And so, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. And now when we insert our sphere, it's going to be more inside of the socket. You can see that. So let's do this a little bit more like that. And this again, isn't the eyeball. This is going to be the um, base for kind of the, the eye lids. And so say, ah, oh, that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and click and drag, and then I'll remesh it, and that'll actually remesh it all together. And you can see what that does there. We can go in and kind of smooth this out. And let's go in and grab our clay build up. And let's actually take our draw size down. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of cut through here to create kind of a a little bit of an opening for a bop, top and bottom lid. And I'm just kind of pushing this back in. We'll remesh. Smooth that out, remesh. The inside of here, I don't really care about. Again, just giving ourselves some kind of base geometry to work with. We'll smooth that out, remesh. Let's go ahead and append a new sub tool. And this is going to be a temporary eye. It's not going to be our final eye, but uh, we'll just go ahead and append a sphere. And let's select the sphere sub tool. Let's move it up and I'm going to scale it down. And we're just going to place it. I'm going to place mine on his left side and just kind of put it where the eyeball itself, the actual eyeball, uh, where we want that to be. And so scale it a little bit. Bring it out here and push it in a little bit. And don't try to match it exactly with the, the geometry that you've already sculpted. Just get it, put it where you want it, and then we'll modify the geometry to match the eyeball. All right. So now let's go back to our creature. Let's go to move, go to draw, and then move. 
starting to get a little bigger, bigger draw size. And I'm going to pull this eyelid geometry out. Okay, so it's a little bit more outside of the eye. Let's do the same thing down here. We need a little bit of a bigger draw size. So we have some geometry on the outside of the eye there. Don't worry if you get too much. You can always come back in and fix that in the sculpt. We're just trying to get that geometry out there. And you can see that I didn't do this. I didn't uh, have symmetry on when I did this. That's okay. Let's get it the way we want it. Kind of smooth this out a little. I want to have a little room back here to play with some shapes. We definitely want some thickness for the lids. We don't want it to be too thin. Now let's go ahead and let's grab our model. And to mirror this, I want to actually flip it over to the other side. So I'm going to go into Z plugin. Let's go into Subtool Master. And let's go to Mirror. And we'll just mirror it over there. Drag this one. Go to our new one. And then our flip should work from this side. So we'll go Mirror and Weld. Let's also flip our eye over so that we have an eye on both sides. So again, Subtool Master, we're gonna to go to Mirror and let's do it as a, let's make it at one subtool. So both eyes are the same subtool. So we'll go ahead and merge across the X, yes. So now we have both our eyes. So now when we go back, we can get rid of that first one. Now, when we go back and start to manipulate this, we can turn on our symmetry. And now everything we do over here is mirrored. All right, so let's remesh this. Let's go back and get our clay buildup with a pretty small draw size. And I'm just gonna start to kind of open up this area. Okay, so we get the, the lid kind of coming back and across. To get that kind of a little bit of that separation here i want to have this kind of come in a little bit and be a little bit more smoothed out and again this is we're still in the rough stage so you're not getting much detail here at all we're just trying to get these overall kind of shapes worked out the structure of it kind of smooth this out I do want to have these kind of separated bits coming up. Remesh that and kind of smooth it out a little. Kind of the same thing down here. Add in a, just kind of working on the what kind of detail we want for this overall head. Kind of define this ear a little bit better. We've got this the mem where the, the membrane is going to go. All right, we can go back and get our Fabian Standard brush. Come in and start to define some areas a little bit better. Okay, coming up in here across the jaw. So, you know, you've got areas that are very hard, like the edges of the jaw, and then you've got these soft areas where you've got a lot of bending and, and moving going along with the skin. And so those are areas where you can start to put in those kind of wrinkles. Again, we're still at the DynaMesh stage, so we don't want to get too detailed. All right. So something like that. And see, it maybe looks a little bit more intelligent, a little bit more regal, which is kind of what I'm going for. So let's go ahead in the next clip and work on kind of the arms and the hand. So we will do that next.